a new dream for a high performance sport sailplane. We call it the Pioneer 3. This is the start of it. It's a styrofoam mock-up of full-size aircraft fuselage. And we'll use this to make a fiberglass mold so we can make hundreds of these uh, shapes just exactly like this, only all out of fiberglass. And uh, it's I made this one. All right, this was made originally. We start with a piece of plywood, quarter inch thick, which has the profile of the fuselage. Then we take styrofoam sheets, which were two and a half inches thick, and I had plotted on my computer every shape, every two and a half inches down the whole length of the fuselage. Then that was, that shape was cut out on each block of styrofoam. Then the styrofoam blocks were glued onto these blocks and onto the plywood sheet. Now when you looked at it, at that point, you see a bunch of styrofoam sheets with uh, this particular shape and there's steps in it. Each one gets a little bit wider as you go further back in the fuselage, and of course it gets narrower as you go back. Now once you've got those all glued on there, you take a, a rasp and you carve down this fuselage until you cut just to the, where the, the, all the steps disappear, and then you're down to um, the, the edges of it. Then you take a uh, sanding block with a, on a long flexible piece of wood and then you sand the contours smoothness into it. So then you, you check the, uh, the surfaces to make sure that they're uh, the shape you want without any bumps and uh, dips in it. And then you give it a coat of uh, white uh, latex primer paint to seal it. Then, once you've sanded that down, I give it another coat of paint, sand it, and then you give it a coat of uh, epoxy resin, which gives it a hard, smooth finish. Then from this point now, you're ready to, to lay up a, a mold on top of that. The, uh, there's a long story involved in how this came about. Uh, it's been a long, it's been 25 years since I designed the Pioneer 2 and it's t high time that a Pioneer 3 is created. I had an idea of what I wanted, but I didn't have the airfoil I wanted and didn't have the exact shape that I wanted. So it all hadn't come together and plus new materials have come out since then too which make uh, a lot stronger, lighter aircraft and easier to build. But this uh, particular one really got kicked off and I did finally get the right airfoil with the help of John Rons and uh, David Lednicer who worked with him at the time. And that's been 10 years ago. So between uh, the interest of, of uh, Dave and John's influence we came up, we finally got the airfoil I wanted, which has 20% less drag than the airfoil that's on the, the old Pioneer 2. This has much more laminar flow on the upper surface of the wing. It's, it's laminar flow back to about 30, 33%. And the lower surface has laminar flow all the way back to 90%. It's extremely low drag. Laminar flow is what everybody strives for very low drag. The uh, evolution of this ship really got started when a friend of mine, a uh, close friend of mine who had been flying a Pioneer for 25 years, well, 20 years, since it first came out about five years afterwards, and he, he's so in love with this ship that he doesn't want anything else. But uh, a year or two ago he had an incident where uh, on an off-field landing he uh, struck a uh, 
fence post, which pretty well demolished, demolished one wing and fractured the spar. So he wanted to know if he could fix, fix it up or uh, I could come up with a new wing for him. So I told him what I'd, I'd like to do. I said, I do have a new airfoil, which I really want to try. And we have now carbon spars, which are much lighter than the wood spars. So he got all excited about this, and he says, I'd like to have you build me one. That's fine. So I want, originally I want to take the new wing and put it on the old Pioneer fuselage. But then I, I, would, I said, well, if I'm going to do that, I want to do a few subtle changes on the fuselage, like make more leg room so that tall people can have uh, can fit into the ship. And then I can have adjustable rudder pedals for short fellas and, uh, and still enough room for the tall fellas. Well, as I start changing things, I want to make the, uh, the tail a little more aerodynamic too, a little thinner, more streamlined, a lower drag airfoil. So what I intend to do is take an old Pioneer II fuselage and incorporate these changes into it. Well, I said, that's going to be a lot of work. Suppose I start with a clean sheet of paper. With a little bit more work than that, I can come up with an entirely new fuselage. 